to a visible position. Refreshing my button. Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, Reddit Minecraft tournament match between Redstoners and Mine Incorporated. The match is about to start. The match is brought to you by reddit.com slash r slash mc tourney. Author Blues, A Person, Skulled, C45Y, JCLL are the lovely mods over there who help to arrange all these tournaments. Uh, we have people streaming. Hypnotized is going to be streaming the teams, the team mumbles. We also uh, want to thank T2T2 for creating the 4-in-1 stream page. The server is provided by nerd.new. You can find them at reddit.com slash r slash mcpublic. And today this match is going to be commentated by myself, CoStar, and Dutroid. Greetings. Greetings. Do you have the music ready? I already ran, I was already running it. Nah, I'm going to hit it as soon as uh, the troughs open up. Roger that. The match is about to start. We should see the countdown momentarily. Redstoners is FV Disco, What It To You, Seth Bling, and Etho. Mine Incorporated in the left lane is Killer2401, Wind Waker 02, Felloc. Belloc Aurora and April 651568. Looks like we're about to start. Countdown is about to begin, and I am expecting to see another Blitz run. A Blitz for the Pit. Alright, they have they are out. They are on the move. Etho is hopping out pretty much in front, taking advantage of the uh, glass on the sides of the water there. Looks, and first to fire. It looks like uh, Mine Inc. is the first one out. Wind Waker is ahead of Seth Bling towards the bridge. And April is the first to die. Shot by What It To You. But he is gathering planks. Let's watch some of this combat back here. Killer has dug himself. Seth, a Bling, Seth Bling is starting his bridge across the gap right now. He's got his initial dirt blocks placed. Killer and heading back to gather more resources. Killer 2401 was uh, killed, and the rest of Red Stoners is heading forward. Seth Bling has pushed himself up in a tree. He is actually taking a sniping position, but uh, decided to back off since Mine Incorporated has not come down the lane yet. Now he's hopping back up and ready to defend. Yeah, it looks like their whole team is still back at the uh, near the farm. Actually, I'm missing one of them. It looks like FV Disco is preparing to head out and complete the bridge. This is going to be critical if Mine Incorporated wants to uh, stay competitive here in the beginning. They're going to want to get down here and put some pressure on Redstoners. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Mine Inc. is currently collecting blocks and the bridge from Redstoners is maybe one-third to 25% done. It's being built by FV Disco. He's halfway across. No pressure from Mine Incorporated thus far. Not at the gap, I mean. Looks like they're now hey. just starting their... Oh, okay, they're trying to knock them off. Or shoot them off. They're going to be too late, though. Yeah. Mine Incorporated did not arrive in time to prevent them from getting across. FV Disco is across the gap. Redstone. The rest of Red Stoners are making it across, but Seth oh. Bling should have waited his turn. <laughs> This is that actually, was unfortunate. This could actually be big because uh, Seth Bling, from we know of their plans, is supposed to uh, be one of the first to cross the bridge. Indeed. He was uh, likely going to head down the lane. This is going to put a crimp in their plans. But Mine Inc. Is They're still... keeping Mine Inc. locked down. Yeah, they've yeah. still not managed to place a single block to build their bridge. Looks like Red Stoners have regrouped. They're sending FV Disco down the lane. Etho and What It To You are holding the line. It's a fairly intense battle here between Etho, What It To You, and Killer. So Killer is basically trying to distract while the rest of his team gets the resources together to make their bridge across the gap. 
Sethling is back in action and it looks like he's resuming his role. Felloc has built a set of leather armor and is going to attempt to make the bridge. But... Sethling is storming the castle. Okay, I believe he's going for TNT from the cannon. There's also TNT in the block that, my, if you can see on my stream, I'm currently standing on. Uh, I'm curious as to why he's not going for that TNT instead, but he might need the button or the redstone to set it off. Or... I expect that they are going to be going for Mine Incorporated's iron, which would be down here. So Seth... they are probably going to be trying to blow that up. Yeah, Seth Bling is now tunneling down through the wall of uh, this one building and is going to pop out somewhere near the iron room here. He's going to gather these iron blocks and use those to gather the diamond blocks if they're not already gathering diamond blocks up there. And he may build something interesting right over there. But we'll see. Mine Incorporated is still having a lot of trouble getting across the gap right now. They are trying to make a run for it. They might get lucky here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Nice. Took that shot like a champ. Well done. That is unusual. You, normally, if someone gets shot while they're, they're shift-clicking... They're going down, but they made it across safely, so Mine Incorporated is back in this match. Now, but they're going to have to hurry Seth if they want to get the iron. Seth has gathered the iron blocks from his team side, and he is building some sort of TNT arrangement. Oh my goodness, this is a monstrosity. It's double thick. This is not going to end well for Mine Incorporated's iron. See, I'm actually curious to see what's going to happen when this goes off. And it looks like Mine Incorporated has made it across the bridge. Indeed they did. And they look uh -oh. like they are still trying to storm the castle. We might be having some trouble. Oh. Dang it. Oh my goodness. Sethbling has just launched a monstrous attack against Mine Incorporated's lane. Hold on, it looks like uh, Fellot Cannon is having some permission denied errors. Alright everybody, hold on just a moment. We're going to see if the match is going to continue or if we're going to have any further issues. But that was an amazing cannon from Seth Bling. I would hate to see that go to waste. Absolute destruction. We're on the last the lane. Again. Pretty much all of these ladders are gone. They've taken out all of their iron blocks. Um, there would be iron blocks sort of where I'm hovering. They did not manage to and it looks like Killer has just discovered the aftermath of their iron area. But it looks like Mine Incorporated is having some permissions issues, unfortunately. The diamond blocks are still here, but remember you need iron to mine diamond blocks, so the only place to get iron is either here, which is relatively safe iron, and there's other there's another set of iron all the way down near pain water, but it's also hooked to a trap, which can easily be destroyed, and you only get like three or four iron if it goes off. Assuming that the match is continuing, I'm going to head down the lane and have a look and see what's going on. Mine Incorporated is actually sent uh, April down the lane to light things up and it looks like what it to you is in the wall just above chutes and ladders digging out a safe tunnel for redstoners to use. Currently FE Disco is in the process of building a wall next to their bridge across the lava chasm towards pain water and it appears that they've already got a station set up at the pain water and if I had to guess, I would say that they probably have someone in the pain water at the moment. Windmaker is having some more technical and it difficulties. shouldn't be me. Trying to, to break uh, wooden blocks in various areas. I presume that we're going to keep trucking until we know for sure that they're not going to be able to continue playing. I don't see anyone in the pain water on the redstone side yet, so this must be FE Disco Station until they are ready to approach the pain water. 
So, as an interesting strategy, uh, Felloc is already doing shoots and ladders, and it's very unusual for someone to start this uh, this soon. Usually, shoots and ladders is the second wool a team goes for. Indeed, and in fact, Redstoners appears to be unaware of Felloc's efforts. Also, it appears that uh, I, it looks like Redstoners had a little bit of trouble with their trap. Oh, did it get damaged? Both sides have uh, been blown up. This can happen. Uh, but fortunately, they don't really need the iron that's here because they've already gathered the iron blocks from the lower room and the diamond blocks most likely from the room as well. Absolutely. I'm very interested to see if Felloc is going to be able to... Uh... Okay, the server is going to restart. Ah. Well, we got to have a fair match. We have oh, to yes. have a fair match. And for the viewers, this means you you're getting... You're, you're getting like a match and a half. So now the teams have been warmed up twice. They're really going to be ready to go. Hopefully there should be no further issues. This does mean, of course, that we're going to want to bounce the stream one more time, but hang with us. This is going to be a really, really good match. This is going to be a great match. Roger that. I am going to just go ahead and bounce my stream right now because we're probably going to get up and rolling really quickly. So once again, remember to refresh. We will be right back. So remember to refresh the page. Okay, looks like they're still working some things out here, so hang on everybody, hang on. Really sorry for the problems. And uh, yes, the reason why I bounce, uh, we both want to bounce our streams is because the, um, the preferable way to digest the recorded stream is from a clean stream. I don't believe that highlights are really the, uh, the best way to go. But um, it looks like they may just be continuing the match, which I personally find very surprising. Uh, can you check and see if my stream is up? Uh, actually, it seems to be, okay. It seems to be up. Okay, it looks like uh... oh, sorry, I am speaking. I just had my mic muted. Looks like the teams are agreeing to continue. Okay, we are going to continue. They are you're agreeing to continue. Well, based merely off of uh, Seth Bling and Wind Waker's discussion, but Killer is saying that he has no permissions. I really believe that to have a fair match, they should really just... Well, that's an option. Could opt them all, but that... Yeah. I would like to apologize to everyone watching right now. I'm very sorry that we've been having these problems. Uh, this sometimes happens. They are working really hard, though, 
to um, try to fix the problems and, and get this match running right. Let's see if I can find Killer 2401. Something has definitely happened here. Oh my goodness. The uh, castle, oddly enough, has been completely destroyed. Yeah, it's likely that someone from uh, Redstoners has fired at the uh, blocks that you can see strewn on the other side here. Indeed, yeah. But I've actually never seen it do this much destruction. They must know the right block to hit, because I have not done too much practice with that. Or there may, may have been a uh, chaos cannon that we did not see. Uh, that is possible. There is a, yep. a gap here. If you if you look up here, there's some TNT hanging in the air. That looks rather suspect to me. Uh, it also looks like somebody had a little bit of an accident up here. With the cannons blowing up. Yeah, I think I see what you see. Anyway, let's continue as if things are happening because I think they are. Let's check out shoots and ladders. Yeah. Yep, so it looks like uh, we have April here on Mine Incorporated firing down on somebody. That's FV Disco. I don't want to get in the way of the arrows. FV Disco is probably going to be in perfectly good shape wearing that full suit of diamond armor. I believe Fellock is coming back with the wool from Shoots and Ladders. So that would be very impressive. This is going to be a very interesting matchup right here. Is FV Disco going to notice and take out Belloc. Or is he going to be so focused on getting that wool himself to, to let the it, blue wool escape? It does appear that he is staying focused and going to ignore Felloc, and Felloc is going to get away clean unless Effie Disco gets some backup, but it doesn't look like anybody else from Redstoners is around. I'm going to go ahead and check the fleecy box down here. Oops. There we go. I do not see any indication... Oh! Yeah, he came in through the top. I'm going to go ahead and pop in here. Oh, well, yep, ready, an entire row of blue wool has been taken. And I'm going to restore this to normality. There we go. It's like I was never there. So Felloc did make it down and did capture the wool. If he is able to get to a chest or to a teammate, they should be in pretty good shape. And it looks like Felloc is going to escape with the blue wool. And he may have dropped them in some of these chests on the way out. Let's take a peek. That would be a very good strategy. Doesn't look like he did. I'm going to go ahead and follow Felloc to see okay. if he makes it back successfully with the blue wool. I will keep an eye on Disco. He is currently descending down into the monster-filled chamber of chutes and ladders. As you can see, there are quite a few monsters here. There are blaze spawners on the ceiling. Creepers, spiders, and there should be some cave spiders around here somewhere. Let's see what kind of strategy Disco uses to get this. Felloc may actually have some trouble navigating back due to the fact that their castle has been completely destroyed as well as all the clean walkways in front of it. Now Redstoners has built a bridge to Painwater. I don't know if anyone has run it yet though. And it looks like Disco is going to go behind the wall just as uh, Felloc did, so I wouldn't expect any trouble for him going that way. Let's see if there's anyone who has run the red wool on Painwater on Redstoner's side. Okay, it does not appear that Felloc is planning on heading all the way back. It appears to have stopped and is now digging down into the green wool area. This is a surprising choice unless he has stored the blue wool somewhere safe and is now attempting to go for the green wool. I see Felloc placing some blue wool and encasing it in cobble. Maybe that was an accident. Let me have a look here. 
It looks like no. He... The blue wool is staying. He's placing some more. So he, his strategy is to place the blue wool around. Uh, apparently, to kind of sprinkle it all over the map. I'm not sure how that compares to using a chest, but perhaps it has something to do with. I, I am absolutely perplexed at this point. I, Felak has encased himself in cobble, and that appears to be that for Felak. It looks like Redstormers already have the red wool, and uh, uh, Fe Disco is down in the wool room already, and it looks like uh, Etho and What It To You set out in full sets of diamond armor, and are now Etho seems to be building a cannon, and... What it to you is taking up a secondary position. I don't think they know that Mine Inc. already has the blue wool. Well, or this is going to be interesting. Or they may be setting up to try to prevent them from getting the red wool. But again... Mine Inc. is going to need to do something about their pain water situation, however. Because if they can't get through here and get to the red wool, then they're going to be shut out of this match completely. Actually, it looks like what it to you may be trying to run pain water himself again. Yes. Uh, it looks like redstoners are actually going to be wasting some time here. They are taking the time to fire cannons at the chutes and ladders, which is completely unnecessary because Mine Incorporated has already got the wool. So it looks like while redstone was able was it made it to the wool room, they were not able to get out with the wool. So what it to you is running pain water again. Assuming it was him the first time. So that would be an indicator then that redstoners do not have the red wall. And they are not back up. Okay, they're going to restart again. Uh, I'm not going to bounce the stream. They're just going to restart the server, so I'm going to stay live and uh, hop back on the server the moment it comes back up, which will probably be just a few seconds. Uh, someone is in pain water. That's a good point. That would not be a good time to restart the server. Okay. He just made it safe. Okay, anyway. what it's you is good. All right. Looks like uh, Etho is going to continue wasting his time making cannons to destroy the ladders while getting shot. This is very, very interesting. They have absolutely no idea that Felloc has already run the chutes and ladders. Looks like what it to you has the red wall and is waiting for the server to restart so he can make his way out. Once again, remember we uh, this time I am not going to be restarting the stream. I'm just going to keep it up, and uh, we're just going to deal with the uh, deal with things as they come. And I, and I believe the cannon that Etho is building is the pressure plate, wood pressure plate cannons that he seems to build a lot of small ones of. So, yeah, this looks like it. He places one block and they sort of shoot. Because it's only a one block uh, charge, one block shot. It's relatively oh. limited against the bottom. Okay. That was okay. painful for Wind Waker. They said they are going to restart the match. I believe we've been joined by someone. Hello, Pilot here. Hello. Hey, Pilot, how you doing? So I wanted to offer a quick explanation as to what was happening. Uh, it requires a bit of context. We're also planning, uh, we as a Nerd.New, a, a quick child's play event in the coming weeks. And this particular part of the server was being used to help plan that event. And what ended up happening is uh, some of the permissions from that map were bleeding over to this map. So on one side of the uh, map, one team was unable to actually affect the chutes and ladders area. So they were unable to place blocks or destroy anything, which is leading to an unfair advantage. So unfortunately, we need to reset the match in okay. order to make sure everything is done fairly. Yeah, it's, it's, better to be, it's better to be clean. I agree that this should be a fair match. So for this, we can only offer our, our sincerest apologies and uh, thank everybody for their patience. It uh, Just the way that the map ended up coming online the permissions files were merging in a way that was sort of not apparent at first. So as people have been playing, we've been becoming aware of more and more uh, issues from it. Understood. 
Well, we appreciate you uh, coming here to tell everybody and let us know what's going on. And I think everybody can appreciate we need to have a, a clean, fair match between the two teams. Absolutely. And I'm sure the team, and, uh, the, the team players will appreciate that too. So. And these are good teams. I mean, it's so far been pretty exciting. So I'm hoping now that everyone's on a level playing field, it'll be even more so. And there goes the server. All right, thanks, guys. Sure thing. Thank, Thank you. you for hosting everything. Okay. So in in that case, I guess we we may as well do a stream bounce again. Yeah. Let's I do hope it. everyone will will just understand that we are really trying to to do a good match here and to do a good show. So. Whatever the case, I'm going to stick to it until things are good until the match is sought through I assume do is too oh yes yeah it's much better to have a nice controversy free match than you know oh, yeah. full of it. I was really surprised that they were uh, they, they were actually going to continue after it was discovered that a few of the players on Mine Incorporated were having permissions issues. Because that's just what they're... There's nothing they can do about that, and that's a huge disadvantage. If they can't place blocks or, or you know, whatever, what if they need to build a cannon and they can't build it, you know, in the right place to hit, uh, hit something that's critical to the redstoners? And some of them said they couldn't even fire arrows, which is even more important. Can't even yes. defend yourself. Yeah, so I, I understand uh, those of you. It, it, it is late for many people. It's late for me, and it's late for a lot of the uh, a lot of the people on the team. Um, but I think everybody just wants to have a good game. So, uh, as as I've said before, this is going to be recorded. It's uh, going to be on Twitch and possibly eventually on YouTube in in uh, a different quality. It should be maximum quality compared to whatever you're seeing on Twitch right now. So if uh, if it's late, don't worry about it. You can go ahead and, and uh, bounce for now and and uh, check reddit.com slash r slash mcturney because the videos will be posted there. The rest of you who uh, want to stay, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep fighting until we get this right. We're going to keep going until we get it right. All right, looks like they're getting on there. I'm going to bounce the stream to get a clean stream. I don't want to do highlights or anything like that. I want to do a clean stream. I'm going to do that Clean as recording. Well. And we'll be right back, refresh the page, and everything hopefully will be cool this time.